So the first AI software engineer by Cognition Labs has been released. And I will play the video in a bit, but this is one of the most significant introductions I think we've had since ChatGPT. This is a fully fledged software engineer AI bot that helps you solve bugs in real time, access GitHub repositories and solve problems and write code for you. It's, it's crazy. So I'll play it real quick and then we'll talk about it. Hey, I'm Scott from Cognition AI. And today I'm really excited to introduce you to Devin, the first AI software engineer. Let me show you an example of Devin in action. I'm gonna ask Devin to benchmark the performance of Llama on a couple of different API providers. From now on, Devin is in the driver's seat. First, Devin makes a step-by-step -step plan of how to tackle the problem. After that, it builds a whole project using all the same tools that a human software engineer would use. Devin has its own command line, its own code editor, and even its own browser. Here, Devin runs into an unexpected error. Devin actually decides to add a debugging print statement, reruns the code with the debugging print statement, and then uses the error in the logs to figure out how to fix the bug. Finally, Devin decides to build and deploy a website with full styling as the visualization. You can see the website here. And as you can see, man, that's, it's crazy. Like I can't believe the ability it has and what it could do. Now, as a developer, I can't lie, it's quite scary. You know, change is always a scary thing. And it's concerning, especially for the newer developers or at least those developers that are new to the industry. However, as a business owner, and we'll get into that side of it and what I kind of project things will be, this is good. You know, me as a business owner, I don't need to hire 10 software developers to create a product now. Instead, I could just use Devin or some other AI software engineer and utilize that as a way to build products. And frankly, where I see software development going as a whole is instead of needing, again, 10 developers on a team, I see it as one, frankly, just one developer utilizing AI to build something. Now, hopefully, maybe I would be wrong about this. Maybe we need like five developers, but I still see these sort of products like an AI software engineer as a new step of utilizing and writing code. Now, do I think programming will die? No, of course not. That's idiotic. And I think people saying that are kind of just trying to scare you, but I will be lying to you if I said that it will not replace a decent amount of developers who don't adapt with the times. The days of landing a job after a boot camp for 220K, you know, like landing a job right away, I think those days are over. I think the new aged programmer will not only be the person who writes code, I think that person will be the one, like a new age programmer, will be the person who can write code who can think of problems to solve, who can look at a problem or look at things in the world and think of ways to solve that with code and as a whole, utilize their skills in code at a deeper level, stuff such as software architecture, deeper learning ideas, such as write software, cleaner software, excuse me, and overall utilizing AI as a way to write faster code and rather than being the person that's always writing the code, they are prompting and utilizing the code that it is given by the AI to fix it, implement it, and then solve a problem for society as a whole. Again, I don't know what I'm talking about, frankly. You know, I'm only a year into coding. I'm just looking at it from an outsider's perspective. But where I see this going is less programmers, more creators and business owners, and being able to do more in less time. So I don't really know what the industry is going to do as a whole, but I certainly, I certainly, I'll be lying to you if I don't see a lot of software engineering jobs going away or at least changing as a whole. So 
I think it's best, you know, uh, learning from the best investors like Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger, RIP. We should see problems as a good thing. And rather than being afraid, doing stuff with that, you know, going with the times, not fearing AI, but embracing it and utilizing it to do what we want. And in the meantime, make more money with it. So rather than fearing it as this thing that oh, it can create software, oh my God, oh my God, you look at it as a way to build shit that you want and hopefully monetizing that or making stuff with it. Um, but yeah, this is crazy. I mean, I'm, I'm, I, I'm very impressed with the AI thing. I'm, I, I'm excited to see where this goes, but uh, we have to see <laughs> how this will impact the industry. I mean, this, is, this, will, this will impact the industry and I'm just uh, you know, concerned. But uh, again, I'm also excited. But yeah, hopefully uh, you enjoyed this and I didn't scare you too much. But hope I'll make videos in the future about how we can utilize this, you know, in a more nuanced video rather than just off the cuff. But yeah, happy coding, happy AI coding. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.